Good day and uh, welcome to uh, our first webinar on Easy Properties for the year 2023. Uh, and first off, I'd like to wish you all a very prosperous investing year, uh, particularly on the property front, and I hope it's a good one for all of us. Uh, I'm certainly excited because we've got uh, three great properties on the platform at the moment, and we've got some other wonderful ones uh, coming. I'm going to be chatting to two guests today uh, about one of the properties that uh, is our first student accommodation property. It's called The Edge. Uh, it's in Stellenbosch. Uh, we listed it um, just before the close of the year, uh, and we're already over 20%. So this is definitely a property that investors uh, have an appetite for and that they're liking. Um, and uh, we're raising about 12 million rand. Um, and uh, look at my notes here. We've got a discount of just under 7%, and there are many other great factors for this property. So I'm hardly surprised um, that it's doing so well. And I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Maria de Villiers and Andy Kidd. Um, and Maria, we're going to start with you. First off, you're the principal at, uh, at Chaz Everett, um, and you've been involved with uh, the edge, uh, I think, probably from the word go. So maybe you can tell us how are sales going, and are you happy with the performance so far? Hi, Carl. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, we are. Um, the edge is doing very well. And... Um, it's, it's great to see that it's nearly done. The building work is nearly complete. So um, we're on time with that. And it is an exciting project. It is one of the first units in the uh, precinct. And um, it's, the sales went well of excitement around the edge. And do you think, um, and I'm going to ask this of you, Andy, I mean, you've been involved in uh, development within Stellenbosch and in this area. Do you think the, the strong sales um, is an indication of a demand or do you think it's going to peter out the demand for student education uh, in Stellenbosch? No, I think that there's, the demand will continue and um, continue into the future, especially with um, the NESFAS students being able to um, um, afford the uh, accommodation in Stellenbosch now and uh, this specific area where... Uh, the edge is located has been designated as a, a student village area um, where they all the buildings will be uh, specified in such a way that they uh, look after the, the needs of students mostly and firstly um, yeah so I think that this is um, this is there's going to be a driving demand all the time you know yeah and I think uh, the area that it's uh, that it's seated in uh, Dennis of that precinct um, it's got some strong support from the university. It's uh, within walking distance to the university. Um, and I think, Maria, I mean, there's a strong focus also um, on security and, and other elements um, in this development. But maybe you can just tell us a little bit more about the units. Are they, you know, single rooms only, double rooms, uh, different sizes, number of units? You know, what is the size and, and, and scope of, of the property? Uh, are you asking me that? But, oh, Maria, go for it. I mean, and we don't, yeah, just to give the investors a kind of sense, yeah. Okay, so there are 63 units available in the edge, of which I, I believe um, 40, uh, 48 have been sold. Uh, um, and there are a couple of other sales that are in the pipeline. Um, so the development itself is doing well. The security in the area that you just touched on now is... Um, uh, not only security in the building, but in that precinct. So the idea is that the um, University of Stellenbosch, which has got what they call a safe green route, uh, which is a route that students use for walking to campus and back, will be expanded to include the area where the edge is and the other buildings that are coming into that area um, in the future. So that students, as you say, can walk. It's within walking distance. They could go by bike, but they don't they don't need a motor car. And um, although each uh, unit has got a parking bay, um, some of the units are uh, uh, studio type apartments, which are which means that the um, bed is in the lounge sort of thing and but it's uh, been built in with built-in cupboards in such a way that um, for studying for students and for living it's the state-of-the-art kitchens are, are in the units already um so everything's ready um, oh, sorry just to interrupt you there then, in the easy property unit we've got double 
um, bedroom units, right? We don't have any single You've units. got double bedroom. You've got double, double bedroom units. So that's correct. Yes. Yeah, so the investors um, are investing in those. Um, and I think, I mean, we, we put some stuff on just when it launched towards the end of Christmas. There's a bit of, bit of, bit of a balcony as well. Um, so they're correct. not, um, you know, they're, they're relatively spacious and, and well-sized units, particularly for a student, for student accommodation. Yeah, and they're also for, um, you know, they've got recreation areas and that sort of thing in within the, uh, the building itself. And then um, it's also very close to the campus, which is, which has got big recreation facilities, tennis courts, squash courts, um, athletics track, rugby facilities, uh, everything. You know, yeah, and I loved um, on the yeah. on the rooftop there were the fire pits and uh, and brilliant views from uh, from the edge development, yeah. which is uh, which is really yeah. nice. Maria, let's let's chat to you a little bit about Stellenbosch generally. I mean, why are you um, as somebody who's who's very involved with with property in that market, why are you still optimistic about people buying property in Stellenbosch? I mean, do you think it it offers good rental returns, capital appreciation? What are your views on that? Okay, so uh, from my days as a student in Stellenbosch, um, I think I've always believed in the Stellenbosch property. Uh, it's it's a it's an interesting market. You've got the students on the one side. And not only the University of Stellenbosch, they are all four larger tertiary education um, systems in town. And we've got a chef school, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, uh, there's a lot of young people moving into Stellenbosch and to, to study, to some of them just to come spend a few years um, basically just living the Stellenbosch lifestyle. And then we've got a lot of young professionals move, starting to move to town because of the, the likes of a Capitech and the likes of MediClinic bringing in their head off. It's a unique market. And a lot of people that moved to Stellenbosch uh, during their student years tend to stay in Stellenbosch. That is what become a young professional, or they, they move abroad, they move up to Fountain for a few years, and they end up back in Stellenbosch. So I've always wanted about the Stellenbosch market. It's always been a solid investment. I've never seen people lose money in real estate in Stellenbosch. In our rental, on the rental side, even during COVID, we didn't have vacancy. Our rental apartments. There is not a single town in or a city in South Africa where the same can be said. We solid rentals throughout for our investors, our landlords. And when a property comes up for sale, a lot of gravels out there because the demand for real estate in Silomosh has always been strong, especially in the last two years. Demand's always there. And where this property is situated, I mean, Annie spoke a little bit about it being close to close to the university. Um, but do you see that there's going to be further expansion and building and development of this area? I mean, what 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 do you see from a Chaz Everett perspective? Yes, definitely. Um, we have a few developments that are coming up um, in future. And um, the whole area has been earmarked student accommodation and there's something you know on on the sales side you often you're often sitting with parents and when you say some walking distance from campus what exactly do you mean is it walking distance for a male or is it walking distance for a female because there's a safety and what I love about the precinct what I love about where the edge is situated with all the plans of expansion in route to in throughout the Denison area, it is safe walking distance for an 18 year old girl. Student accommodation is concerned. That's what we ask for. That is that is the key element, and the the beauty is we can we can offer our investors, and I think investors would want to know that it is safe not only for a young man with a bicycle but with for a young girl who has to walk to campus in the morning or back early evening.
Yeah, absolutely. And I think the rental yield is just under 7%. So, you know, there's going to be good, in my opinion, capital appreciation, which, you know, might be um, slightly low in a Salamash area, but I think the rental guarantees and and your rental prospects, um, you know, are excellent. Um, and it's definitely one of the reasons that I invested as soon as we opened this property. Um, and I'll also invest in the next one that we're listing, because I think that uh, that the demand is is much higher than the, the supply. Um, and developments with with this kind of quality will will be snapped up. So I've got a picture here. It's my screensaver, which is uh, which is from Stellenbosch, and uh, in the distance there's Table Mountain. I think people also sometimes forget how close uh, Stellenbosch is to to Cape Town. So uh, it's not as if you're living out in the sticks either. Andy, we're due for uh, occupation in uh, in February. Uh, you said things are going well. Um, after builders' holidays and uh, and all of that, um, are you guys still confident that uh, that our tenants can take occupation and that all's going to be ready for February? Well, I know for a fact that it's full steam ahead. I mean, they were working day, between Christmas and New Year, and um, the the developer has assured me that they are properly on track. That mostly it's snagging it and that sort of thing that's uh, taking place at the moment. But um, yes, I, I feel very confident. Yeah. And um, the, the developer's shown his hand. You know, he's um, uh, he's given a rental guarantee for two years. Yeah. So, you know, that, that's that's not normal. That shows a lot of confidence in the product. And um, yeah, so you're very comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah and when I was there uh, with you guys uh, towards the end of December and so much has happened since then, it was certainly looking good. Um, and... Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to being there uh, in February again and uh, and seeing it uh, completed. Um, and we're definitely going to invite some of our investors out there because I think it's one of the great joys from an easy properties angle is that the people who invest, many of them are students at Stellenbosch or live in the town of Stellenbosch, can you know physically see the 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 investment that the, that they've got. And one of the things I love is there's no real you know admin or hassle. You put your money, whatever it is, hundred bucks or hundred thousand bucks, uh, whatever you can afford, you invest. But you don't have to go through hectic paperwork but you can see and touch your assets so uh, don't be surprised andy and maria if people stop you in the street now if they've seen you on the webinar <laughs> so uh, good so that's it i just wanted to have a brief little chat with you um we appreciate your expertise it was really a great privilege for me to meet you guys it's wonderful to as an investor to engage with people that know property so well that are so passionate uh, about property um and um yeah, I'm, uh, our investors will have some questions, which they'll send through on social media, and we'll answer all of those. Uh, but there are a couple of weeks left for the edge. Uh, don't delay. Uh, and then we're going to be launching, as I said, another student accommodation property, which um, you can see from the edge. It was wonderful standing on the on that top floor of the edge with the fire pits and that outdoor area looking onto this vacant property where uh, the one is going to be built. Um, and for me, that's one of the great things with Easy Properties as well. We're not just offering completed properties with rental guarantees like the edge which has a particular advantage but also that people can invest in something like the one off plan which will only be ready in, in about two years time so uh, there are different aspects and maria i hope that many of these investors when they finished studying that they come to you at chas everett and buy some more property uh, or some of your developments and <laughs> so thank, thank you very much you. and uh, we'll see you around so uh, appreciate it and have a good 2023 Thank you, Cole. The same to you. Thank you very much.